Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. I got a lesson for you. 10 years in the making. You guys have been requesting this forever. I apologize for it taking so long, but it is really fun to play, not too hard. Gotta go to drop C tuning, uh, but it's not too bad. I'm gonna walk you through it. Also, thanks for supporting me with my own thing right here, Marty Music. Appreciate you subscribing, clicking the bell notification. You can go to my website for courses. Some of them are free. Thank you. Here we go. All right, we're gonna start with the uh, very beginning part, which is uh, an acoustic guitar. And all the guitars are in drop C, which is the same as drop D tuning, but a whole step down. So real quick, that would be C, G, C, F, A, and D. So now we play the open, I'll call it the open A string. I'm just gonna refer to everything as if it was normal, uh, easier to keep track. Open A string, and then seventh fret D string, and then fifth fret G string. Now I'm letting my index finger and kind of palm mute the other strings like the B and high E. My thumb's muting this low E, which has been tuned down to C. And then we have. And you're gonna take that shape with the open A ringing out and you're gonna slide it up a whole step, so. Right, so that up a whole step. Then a new shape, which is going to be fifth fret D string fourth fret G string, and then down a whole step. So all together you have this one, then up a whole step, and then target that middle finger to the fifth of the D, and then down a whole step to the third. So you put it together. Now there's two uh, electric guitars overdubbing over that part, and I'm gonna show you that right now. All right, same tuning, electric guitar, overdrive. Uh, we're gonna take the same shapes even. So this is uh, being overdubbed or layered on top of the acoustic part. So you have the exact same chords and a little bit of palm muting, and you're just picking the notes individually. So the first one's G to D. So ba 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 ba. Then the same thing up a whole step. Then index on the fourth of the G, that same shape. Down a whole step. So just like that, one more time. And then the next time you just alternate it starting on the D to G instead. But all the same shapes. And then on top of that, you've got another higher part going on that's layering as well. We're gonna play a ring finger on the 10th fret B, eighth fret high E with the index. Up a whole step. Then this shape, which is gonna be eight on the B, seven on the high E. And then that exact same shape, whoop, up here, where you're on the 13 of the B, 12 of the high E. So put those together. It's, it's a real jangly kind of rhythm part there. You know, like that kind of thing.
You end on there, and the next phrase starts on there. And so now we've moved to uh, 15B, 13 high E. Then you slide that exact shape down to 12 and 10. And then right back up to 15 and 13. So you put those together and it's being played over that original part. You know, into the super heavy part. So let's get to that. All right, with some nice heavy distortion and some right hand palm muting will give you that of course that gent sound gentlemen so Really fun to play, not too difficult. We're uh, just covering the top two strings here to get a power chord. And we're using our middle finger and index finger. Once again, that palm muting. And we're gonna start on the eighth fret. Eight to seven, like that. So bingo, 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 that's four. Then we just slide it down a half step. So then it becomes between seven and six and you do the same amount. So, from the beginning. So the first one is between eight and seven, then it's between seven and six, then it's between 10 and nine. Then the only one that breaks from that shape is then between 12 and 10. You put them all together, eight to seven, seven to six, 10 to nine, and then 12 to 10. Then we're gonna go single notes along the, this top string here, and it's gonna be seven to six doing the nice alternate with some more palm muting. Then we go up to 9 to 12. And then we go into the wake up. And that is pretty cool because it relates to the part we were just doing, the part that is the uh, 8 to 7 and the part that's the 7 to 6. It's a pattern with those two shapes. So we go like this. So just one time from the from the eight to the seven, and then four. So you know, bada, 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 bada. right? So bada, one and two and three and four and. So check it out again. One and rest. One and two and three and four and. Then we just go to the half step down. Same pattern. One and. One and two and three and four and back to the top one. One and one and two and three and four and one and one and two and three and four and one and one and two and three and four and one and one and two. Wake up. Very fun to play. Not very difficult, but sounds very big and powerful. But it's funny some of those really heavy riffs. You actually play them better when your hands are kind of relaxed and you're not playing it too hard, which I find ironic. I'm pretty light on the hands there. I play much firmer with blues, but. One and two, bubba, 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 right? Um, so that gives us all the parts. Just to recap, we've got Single note. Then. You know, 
etc. Then when we go into what I guess we call the chorus, it goes back to those intro chords, but with just a little bit of a different feel. So let's check that out. We're gonna take those same shapes that we did in the intro, and we're gonna pick it this way. We're gonna start with that G string, even though it's tuned down, I'm just calling it G. Then A, and it's very palm muted. So the G string, then the A string. Then G, D, A, so. And back to the G. So look at my right hand. That's one pattern is G, A, G, D, A, G. Same shape. And then over that, you have the higher part, but not the... It's not doing da la 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 It's more mellowed. da do da do da do Whoa! Whoa! Um, but the same stuff. You know, etc. So the only thing that's different is when it goes to that part, it just does, uh, I think like eight, it holds on this uh, eight to seven part. Etc. So there's no nothing like too crazy that we have to learn from here. We just have to kind of like follow the arrangement. Typically things are added as the song progresses to give you fresh ideas, but the structure is the same. So let's go to the next part. So you go to that next verse the exact same way, uh, and then that. All that's the same. Then when it goes back to the main riff, it's a little less palm muted than palm muted. You know, it's really nothing, uh, nothing new to learn. Now, without palm muting, then with palm muting. And then this. Nothing new. Then it goes into kind of like the final act of the play. Nothing too hard to learn, but it goes into more of a chordal, like heavy open chord thing. So let's check that out. One other quick thing when it's doing the... Uh, the non-muting part, you can do it single note. And it gives it that more, you know, a different feel to it. Like that. So when we go into the final section, it's just big power chords. So we're going to play the power chord on the top two strings here on the seventh fret. And we go to the third fret, but we can add these little octaves of the power chord up here. Which is the ring finger on the fifth of the G, sixth on the E. You got it. Then we're going to do a power chord next door right here on the third fret A string. A, so three, five, five. Then back to that third fret on the low string. So you put them together. There 
there was. Hope you had fun with it. Also, thank you again for supporting me at Marty Music. You can uh, request lessons in the comments below. While you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe right here to my own thing, Marty Music. Thank you again. Hope to see you real soon. Take care.